All right, back again, and today I'm just going to be doing a quick demonstration of my Mega Man X PC version music correction mod that I'm working on. And so I finished all of the songs last night. I finished remixing them, the original midis from the that came with the game. Like I finished changing the instruments around and changing the pitch of all the songs and speed and such to make them sound more like the SNES originals because the PC versions, the way the original composers or converters, whoever was responsible for that, did it, they didn't do a very good job. Like a lot of the songs had the wrong instruments, most notably the drums were different, like they, they didn't sound right, you know? And the pitch to a lot of the songs were higher than the originals. And some of the volume leveling was off. So on, you know. So I wanted to take those midis and edit them in FL Studio to make them sound closer to the originals. To show that if the composers spent more time working on the songs and getting them to sound properly this version of the game wouldn't be known for having horrible music as its most common complaint about it you know and i know there was another music mod out there for this like a few years back but what they did was get music from vgmusic.com which that site is a pretty cool site to get midis of video game soundtracks if you're interested you can even find some arranged versions of songs, which I find pretty cool. But they they got the music from there and converted that into the XMI format. But, you know, I, I wanted to try doing a more official approach to make them sound like if... if the people at Capcom or Rosner Labs, the company that ported this game from the SNES to the PC, to sh for what they could have done to get these songs sounding right. And so now I'm going to load the game up and do a little demonstration of some of the songs. So we're going to hear how they sound on... This is going to be general MIDI, but this is not the general MIDI that you guys all know that, you know, the wavetable synth that comes with most versions of Windows. This is actually the general MIDI from my Yamaha sound card that I have in this computer here. But, yeah, and I think it sounds a little better than normal general MIDI, so... This, this will be pretty cool to hear. But anyway, I'm going to press start. Rosner Labs Software Group. That was the company that ported this game, like I said. They also did a port of Super Street Fighter 2, which... That also has similarly poor music as Mega Man X, but... It, to me, it's not as bad, but... It's, it still needs to be improved, so I'm going to be doing a mod for that game as well. By correcting the midis to make them sound like their SNES counterparts, since that's the version of the game they ported to the PC. But with this... Besides a few minor changes that I have to make, I think this, this mod is almost ready to go. I have to press start or else it goes back to the intro. But you hear it? Here, I added... I made the song have the proper instruments, just like the SNES. Gonna load, 
this file real quick. One thing I gotta fix is the looping. For whatever reason, FL Studio added FL Studio added in like a extra half second or a second of silence after each song, which kind of sucks. But I'll have to edit that out in a different MIDI program. I think it has to do with the irregular BPM of the songs, but. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, we're gonna get into it now. We're gonna click a stage. So we're going to pick load game. Go to here since I beat all the stages. level
I'm gonna do one more song. I don't wanna showcase the whole soundtrack just yet. I wanna upload that as a whole. There was one song I was having a problem with though, and I'll show you it here. See, look here, it says song buffer overflow, OP talk dot XMI. That, that's the song that you hear when Zero talks to you. For whatever reason, I don't know what's wrong with that file, but even when I replaced it with the original file that came with the game, it still doesn't work. So that indicates it's something wrong with how all the XMI files are together because when I put all the original music back it works perfectly fine but I don't know I gotta figure that out but I'll do that at a later time but overall I just wanted to show you how my mod works like how it works when I convert the midis to the games XMI format and overall i'm pretty excited about this i can't wait to fully finish this by you know editing the end points of the songs just so they can loop seamlessly but besides all that i think this will be good to go but anyway more to come thanks for watching and stay tuned bye now